Okay guys, so today's job is to relocate the spoiler from this position in the kitchen as customers have in their kitchen redone and they don't want the spoiler to be here it needs to be relocated to this airing cupboard uh, just in the hallway as you can see so that's where you enter into the building from and they just have enough space in here to mount the spoiler just there uh, so the plan is to remove this shelf position the boiler on this wall here take the flue straight outside currently it's got a vertical flue on it we're just going to put a standard horizontal flue on there and run all the pipe work which is currently obviously it's in the kitchen uh, so relocate all of that pipe work from here possibly taking it from the hallway or if we have enough space underneath uh, just take it through and connect it in there uh, previously customers had the gas meter uh, in the kitchen as well uh, with their had it relocated so now the gas meter is outside um, in a meter box and this pipe that you see in coming in so that's the gas pipe feeding into the property now so we need to connect to this pipe and take it to where we need to take it to we also need to provide them with a cooker point or a hot point just here also a point for their gas fire that they are intending on putting in in the future in their living room uh, and then just put a slate on the roof so i'll just show you from outside let's have a look let's see so as you can see vertical flue so it's not too far from the edge which will make it slightly easier to dismantle and then a tile or two just to close it off so that's the plan that's the ex that's the plan that's the existing condensate pipe so it'll be removed from here the blow off obviously that'll be disconnected as well so that's the new gas meter box and the pipe that's going in i'll just show you let's have a quick look inside to see what they've done they've nicely sealed it so that's a good news so yep a g4 gas meter metric gas meter um, they sleeved it that's a good news uh, but we just need to seal it this sleeve needs to be sealed um, I wonder why they just put a coupler just there they could have just put a longer piece straight into the elbow but it seems like they possibly just reused the same union that they had inside so that's that currently is turned off and tapped off inside there's earth bonding cable as well that needs to be connected to it but electrician's going to be doing that not that i see left a key here as well so that's good so the boiler flue will come out of where that air brick is uh, and blow off obviously somewhere here now we have a little problem with the condensate as there's no gully on this side so it can either be a soak away or run internally because as you can see it's quite a high floor level inside so we can just run it internally inside the floor and just take it out here somewhere just to terminate into this gully um, so that will be that but yeah we'll be making a start on this today and i'll keep you up to date there's no electricity as is currently being rewired as you can see the the electricians left as a point uh, for the fuse spur which may just give us enough space for the boiler or i may just have to shift that fuse spur to the right slightly because uh, i don't like wedging boilers to the corners where when we come back to repair it you can't really put your hand in and stuff like that as well so we'll just make it nicely accessible so we just need to make a start on that so you stay tuned and i'll give you an update as soon as i made a start on it Okay guys, so the boiler's off the wall now as you can see. I've got into pipe work here. I may utilize or reutilize some of this pipe work that's already connected to the jig. Uh, or I may have to alter it, but when I install it there, uh, come to light. So as you can see, I've disconnected the vertical flue. There was no clamp hold in it. In fact, it was in such a tight space. I don't think anybody could get there to put a clamp on anyway. It was just such a short piece uh, in the loft area. Uh, but that will just come out of the roof uh, the boilers off the wall now 
with this particular one with the Worcester Boy, you have to install this jig first and then the boiler just sits on top of that jig and it's just hooked into this top hook as you can see and yeah don't even talk about changing the PRV on one of these okay so that's the boiler uh, removed from here as you can see and the new location for the boiler is nearly ready so I've removed all the shelves and stuff like that uh, the flue will just go out of that air vent hole and it will just get sealed around it you now customers are, are installing some more air vents in the near future they were saying so we're just utilizing this hole for now and the pipe work will just run the floor now one thing i forgot to mention at the beginning whenever i've come out to uh, repair a boiler obviously if it's a fault on it uh, then you can't really check it but if you come out to relocate a boiler for example uh, or if you came out to turn gas off for any other reason you had to install a hob or something like that one thing to keep in mind and it's a very important point is the fact that you check all gas appliances within the property before you commence your work just to make sure everything was in working order that's what i do on each installation i couldn't do it here today uh, because there's no electricity and the gas was pre-disconnected to the appliance as well so i informed the customer that i can't check the functionality um, of your appliance beforehand so i'm not sure whether it's in working order or not if you tell me that it was in working order we install it and if it comes back fine and it gets commissioned properly happy days however if it develops a fault or if there was a fault with it uh, not that i will develop a fault just by relocating it from here to there except if i do something dramatically stupid uh, which i'm not intending on doing uh, then obviously that's something to keep in mind and to clarify with the customer beforehand that if you haven't tested it if you haven't checked it for any reason uh, you make customer aware of that the last thing you want to do is be liable for something you haven't done okay so communication is the key uh, in this regard so yeah we will move this boiler now we will install this jig in the new location and then take all the relevant pipe work to it stay tuned okay guys so let's see what we found when we lifted the floorboards so hidden inside we've got quite a lot of pipe work and a lot of cables as you can see so that's the gas pipe existing gas pipe as you can see that's the new one coming from outside now so that's the existing pipe the gas meter was somewhere here in a kitchen cupboard at the time and that t was the supply into this pipe from the meter it was going in two direction one was going down in 22 mil as you can see and then it was just coming back for the boiler feeding the boiler that's the middle pipe that teeth that you see that was going to the bayonet next to it because there was a cooker freestanding cooker here at some stage if we follow the same pipe back to the other side can you see that bend there and then this teeing off in this direction it's going there teeing off capped off still going further in 15 mil as you can see going there it's not coming up to the boiler but it's running under floor and i've traced it and it's going into that one there so that was the existing supply pipe at some stage coming out of there and then somebody decided to just tap into it here and cap that one off so we need to get rid of all of that the problem is if we trace this pipe back this same gas pipe back here in this direction now as it's coming out that's that pipe there there's a t there and it's going in that direction as well as it's going into the living room but then there's another t here and if you see this pipe is coming up and it's just squashed shut so there's no cap on it or anything like that somebody's just squashed it and that's how they sealed it so we need to get rid of all of that anyway we'll be dealing with this pipe but yeah that's what we have to deal with okay guys so i climbed down on the floor yeah i love doing that okay so that's where the boiler was i'm just looking at the root and just cutting some of the pipe work but check this out so when you have no joist under your pipe that's fine 
if you have a joystick under your pipe, no problem. Just go through the bloody thing. Check that. Yep, as you can see, somebody decided that they were still going to go straight. No point bending the pipe, just to the right, just slightly, maybe. And that would have just come down here. No, no, they didn't, they didn't want to do that, so they went straight through the joist and run their pipe. Anyway, all of this run of pipe work that's going up here, running there, that will get cut off and it'll be redirected from the new location. But yeah, I wonder how people do that. Because somebody must have seen it, obviously, they put that elbow through the solder date. It's not as if they made it by mistake and they didn't realise. Hey, what can you say? What can you say? Okay, guys, so yeah, just busy doing this gas run under this floor. Uh, nice and comfy place, nice and snug as you can see. It's got insulation and carpet above it, so couldn't really the floorboards. So just decided to just solder it and get down and crack on with it. And that's another beauty of having a press gun. You don't have to solder in these tight spaces. Okay guys, so my job's now done. I commissioned the spoiler yesterday. It was a bit too late in the evening to make any videos. Uh, so I completed my job. I've come back to it today uh, just to complete some paperwork. I had to put a three pin plug on it because as you can see, there's no consumer unit as of yet. The property's going through a uh, full renovation. So they're doing a rewire as well, full rewire. But for my commissioning, uh, I connected it with the three pin plug. Yes, I did put a three amp fuse in it. Uh, so it's all sorted. Customer since removed some radiators uh, this morning. So they drained the system again. Uh, so the boiler's now off. Uh, the flue, as you can see, is going out. So it's got an extension on it. Uh, flue clamp there. And then the boiler flue goes out. And I'll just show you outside as well. It's a bit dark. So that's where it's come out. I managed to find uh, some old bricks sat in the back garden underneath those slabs. So I checked with the customer, took a couple of those bricks out uh, just so it doesn't look too bad and put those bricks in there. Uh, but yeah, we managed to achieve uh, 200 distance, 200 mil or 20 centimeters above the flue uh and between the eave so now we don't have to pull that flue out all the way uh, and past the gutter area uh, that to me aesthetically doesn't look very appealing uh, so we managed to achieve that distance so now it's as per manufacturer's instructions so that's all sorted so my job is all done and this is what the piping looks like as you can see uh, we put a new condensate run on it as well it's running under floor and then it's going outside to the gully so it's all insulated that's just running under the floor uh, all the pipe work is all lagged uh, all isolation valves everywhere as usual new filter on it uh, so it's all done now i hope you enjoyed this video uh, it was a long one uh, but if you have any questions please feel free to leave in the comment section uh, and thank you for watching, enjoying and liking the videos. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do and check out my other videos as well. That's all for now. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.